Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and today I have something new and cute for you. Well, at least a demo of something new and cute. So, heads up. First off, a few days ago, Kishmish Games got in touch with me and asked if I thought that one of their upcoming games would be of interest to you, my dear viewer. And the game we're talking about is this one you can see, the trailer for which is running beneath me at this moment, is called Flycall. Unlike their other games, Bus Driver Simulator, Metro Simulator 2020, or even the upcoming Bus World, this is not a driving simulator type game. It's a, it's a transport strategy game about aeroplanes. As you can kind of see, again from the trailer, you see playing out beneath me here. They're developing it, developing it for both uh, mobile phone and PC, which might explain some of the, well, the design elements they put into it. But we'll look at those as we go into the demo. So what's it all about? The idea is, is you develop your own airline network in various cities and countries by creating routes, buying planes, upgrading airports and airplanes, and that typical sort of thing. Uh, the cities are all real names, so they've actually got a sort of realistic world to play across. And the game has several modes of operation. Uh, the, there's only one mode in the game uh, demo that we'll see, which unfortunately is the one mode that I probably will never ever play. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sort of game style that simply does not appeal to me, uh, but we're going to look at it anyway because it gives us a hint of what the game could do in uh, in, in further development. Talking of development, it's not yet in early access. It's scheduled to be released in May. I don't yet have a date from the developers as to exactly when. So let's head on then into the game itself and see what Flycore, the demo, looks like. So this is it. And as you can probably hear beneath me as well, the soundtrack is all very bouncy and light and fun. It does actually kind of fit in with a sort of light-hearted airplane game. Yeah, it's kind of casual, nothing too serious, but I think it will test your mettle in terms of decision making. Right, now as I like to do, of course, settings, we do need to go to settings because I always do that. We have a variety of languages at our disposal. Resolutions, or all sorts of resolutions you can go to, from quite big to quite small. And you've got various screen display options here, and of course the music volumes and so on. That's all there is to it. That should be enough for this sort of game, I think. In terms of playing it, there are three types, no, there's four types of option available to you. Challenges. Unlock all the countries of the world and compete with other players. Now, the game does say it is single player on Steam. And I'm assuming that's what it is. What I think they're talking about here is you will be added to a cloud leaderboard, a bit like Dorf Romantic where before the game was released, I was doing quite well. But as soon as players who knew what they were doing came on board and bought the game, I, my rating dropped dramatically. Again, I don't care about that. I'm, I'm playing a game to enjoy it and, you know, get some value from it. I don't care about beating other people at all. So, yep, you can see other players developing, uh, beating your score and so on, whatever. Um, I don't know it, whether it's multiplayer or not. I don't know, as I said, they're designing it for Android, uh, well, mobile generally, I think. I think they only mentioned Android actually in the release that I saw, but anyway, by the by, there's free play. Um, oh, this this is just taking me to all the things, isn't it? So this is, yeah, these, these pages are pretty much all the same. But one thing they're building into it, which is a really nice idea, is custom scenarios so that individual players can create their own particular set of events and so on that happen within the game. And you can try those as challenges, see if you can beat those. There's a tutorial, which we'll actually do. So I'll talk you through that and then we'll have a look at what will turn out, I think, to be quite a short demo. So the tutorial, how to open routes, buy planes and get familiar with the basic rules. And here we are. Welcome. We will begin the development of our passenger airline. We're going to plan routes, launch planes and make important decisions. Are you ready? Yes, we are so ready. We have up here a speed control. There's only two speeds, slowish and a bit faster and an amount of money, which is the key goal you have. 
the pause button here just takes you there. It's not a real pause. That's one of the sort of things that could upset me in a real game. You know me, I like to pause and think. But I have a feeling this game is meant to, for a more casual audience who just like to sort of play a quick half an hour with the game or whatever while they're en route somewhere. That's why it's on mobile and tablets and so on. So I imagine most players will probably play it on their, their portable devices. We shall see, though, when it actually comes to release. Uh, save and load. Oh, can I save things? Oh, I can. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> that will actually pop up as we go into the demo itself. Uh, my goal is Belgium in less than six minutes. Uh, we're going to probably fail that. To move the map, use WASD, which, as you know, I hate doing because I am not a keyboard game player. If I see a map, I want to use my mouse to run around it. You can use edge scrolling. The one thing you can't do, which again frustrates me, is you can't drag the map. I would like to have a draggable map. WASD, as I say, does nothing for me. This is the country we're going to start in. We're going to start in Germany. So let's click on Frankfurt and see what Frankfurt looks like. Do I need to close, close in? Yeah, there we go. So Frankfurt. Most people want to go to Hamburg and Berlin. A few to Stuttgart. Oops, let's, can I click on that again? Yeah, I'll do that in a minute. No, I'm stuck in the tutorial now. <laughs> it tells you various things about the airport. We'll get into that as we go to the uh, into the demo itself. So we're going to create a route now from Frankfurt to Berlin for 129 of our money. Yes, let's do that. And, yep, yeah, we now see a plane flying to Berlin automatically. And they change their colour depending on the occupancy. So green, they're they're very they've got plenty of room. Orange or yellow means they're getting a bit full, around half full. Red means quite full. Now I can actually click on each of these items. I will do that in a minute. Let's follow the tutorial, shall we? Am I getting ahead of myself? Okay, we'll create a route from Hamburg to Berlin. Thank you. We'll do that at 76. So people who want to go from Hamburg. As it says here, to Frankfurt will transfer in Berlin, due to the fact that I don't provide them with a direct flight. Which means the load in Berlin will increase, something you will need to pay attention to. Oh, we can join Stuttgart. New airports will arrive, new cities will arrive in the map at points throughout the gameplay. So let's have a look at Berlin. Uh, the clock is still running. <laughs> Again, this is the sort of thing that will frustrate me because I'd like to look at this and think about it and contemplate. Most people want to go to Hamburg or and Frankfurt. Not many people want to go to Stuttgart. Now, this uh, figure here in the middle, the number of people, is the capacity of the next level. At the moment, the lower figure down here, 50 people. Our airport can accommodate 50 people. Currently, there are 15 people in the airport. But if we increase that... It'll go up to a hundred people maximum with a 300 as the next level upgrade. And we can do the same with aircraft. This flight is looking very full. So if I click on that, it is full 20 out of 20. So I can either upgrade the plane, which is what I can do here. Let's upgrade you. That's another hundred, which gives me 50 passenger capacity. Excellent. Or if I click on the route itself, the dotted line here, I can buy a new plane. The question is, is that plane the same as the other one? That's 20. That one's 50. So, yeah, they all start off at 20 capacity. Uh, if I'm losing money or I don't need the capacity on the line, as it says, I can sell a plane down there for a half of what it cost me to buy it. Let's go next. Oh, it said other stuff as well, whatever. The different victory conditions, for example, in unlock all countries, you need to unlock a new country before the timer with its name on runs out. So I've got to buy into Belgium within the next minute and a half. Where's Belgium? There it is. Otherwise I will lose. Yeah, so shall I buy into Belgium? That's going to cost me 300. I haven't got 300. Uh, you can skip some time. 
Uh, okay, we'll skip some time. The trouble is, I'm going to run out aren't I, of money here. Now this is going to be the problem. This is a sort of gameplay that just really annoys me. I, I get no fun from this. this. This isn't what I like to do. I like to plan and see my networks succeed, make money or not, as the case may be. If we make it run faster. Am I going to get to 300? Just about. Yay! <laughs> Uh, from time to time, messages will appear as cities become unlocked. Or oh, don't want to unlock. No, can't unlock. Check the back here. Or the Czech Republic, of course, as it now is. Uh, now my next goal is Sweden. So I've got to open Sweden in just under, just over six minutes. Can I create a route from there to there? I can. There you go. Unforeseen situations will occur periodically. We are not, well, so I as a player am not able to influence. Uh, I, let's read what this message says. Too many things happening at once. I wish there was a pause. A popular urban blogger has made a video review of Brussels City Airport. He really liked it. Oh dear, new people start coming to the airport to take a look. So I need to increase the number of passengers by 50. Sorry, the number of passengers has increased by 50%. It's going to get fuller and fuller. Okay, as I said, I'm not able to, able to influence on some decisions, on some events, but uh, some just uh, risk me running out of money. Once the demo has ended, or the tutorial, you get scored. Look, because I didn't save the game, <laughs> whatever that means, I get an extra bonus. That is the tutorial. Let's see if I can play this for real. Unlock all countries. This is the only option available in the demo, apart from, apart from the tutorial. So I'll need to unlock a new country every six minutes. We start once again in Germany. So Berlin, people want to go to Hamburg or Essen. Hamburg, people want to go to Essen. Essen, people want to go to Hamburg. Oh, let's go there. Let's drag from there to there. That's 96. We'll do that. Thank you very much. Uh, new airport's been opened in Hamburg. I know. 76. We'll go there as well. And we need to open Austria in just over five minutes. They all seem to cost the same amount. The size of the country doesn't appear to affect the cost of opening your uh, license to fly, as it were in those countries. We'll see Berlin is getting, that place is getting full already. Or half full, nine out of 20. Let's get this going faster. Again, it, uh, one of the things that makes me think it looks much more sort of a casual, portable tablet, mobile type of game is there's no detailed information on costs and profits, dip, that sort of thing. Although you do get an indication of demand and so on, you don't see any sort of detailed monetary figures. But the thing is here, do I connect Stuttgart? I can't afford that, you see. I've got four minutes left to get into Austria. Will I be able to earn? Will I have 300 in time to get there before this runs out? Why do I say that? Because if an airport becomes too full, I lose the game. I might have time, time still. So I'm just wary of spending all that money, which would be pretty much all my money, and then having not enough time to recoup that expenditure. So is this the way to do it? Just leave a couple of simple routes running. Cancel all the flights to Stuttgart due to, there will be no passengers there for a week. Oh heck. Uh, they're not flying to Stuttgart, that's fine. <laughs> so, oh, and there's Munich has appeared on the map. That's an event. City is blocked for six minutes. Well, it was six minutes when the message came up. Yeah, I, I, I can't really justify that expense. I could increase the capacity on these airports, but I don't think I need to really. Hamburg is, is fine. 
the aircraft. They're half full now. Okay, let's go a bit faster. Let's see if I can make that 300 in time. A, a nice set of audio tracks to go with the game, which is, is quite attractive, I think. I'm going for Austria. I'm nearly there. I've got a minute to do it in, and it will count me down once we get into a minute. <laughs> it will tell me, get something done. 300, I can do it. Unlock it. Got it. Now I've got to get a Sweden in seven minutes. Okay, uh, do I want to? I can't, I've only got 17 left, you see. There's no option to take out loans or anything. So I'm just hoping that I can earn enough money to, to spend, to, to improve my services, to earn more money before I have to buy Sweden, which costs a little bit more. I've never actually, I, actually, I don't think I've got to a second country so far when I played the demo. But my guess is that they will increase in price by that, some, some sort of margin each time. So each extra country costs a little bit more to fly into. Can I make this go faster? I can. But we're just not... A new airport has opened in Frankfurt. See, Berlin is starting to go red now. I could upgrade it. But if I don't upgrade it... Oh, people have gone. That's fine. Breaking news. Berlin is almost full. Upgrade it immediately. And if I don't upgrade it, I will lose the game. It's not very friendly, is it? 45. I, w I w want to show you the countdown. <laughs> oh, it's full. Okay, upgrade it. <laughs> so, yeah, that is now going to allow 100 people into the airport. The next level upgrade is 300. But there you are, I'm now at 71 monies, so... Uh, Am I ever going to have 321 to get into Sweden? Vienna's becoming full. Munich in particular, though. Now that's the real problem. Hamburg is getting full. I, d I don't know. Is there a trick to this game? To get more money? There's, there's nothing I can click here. See, I can pause that, but... <laughs> so what? <laughs> Is that always counting down? Oh, no, it's passed. Okay, right. Oh. Yeah, 50 people reached. It's going to overflow. I've lost. Keep an eye on the number of passengers in each city. I was trying to, but I just couldn't afford to do anything about it. And there we are. That's my rating. I'm still number 209. Uh, it's, I'm not sure if that is currently a valid number or not. Yeah, I think this isn't a terribly good score. I think I have scored slightly more than that in previous uh, attempts at this game. Anyway, that's it. That's what the demo for Flycall looks like. It is due for early access uh, sometime later this month, May of 2021, or 2021 if you would prefer. If this is something you would like to see on the channel, not that particular type of play, I'm not going to play that again because I don't like doing that. But if you'd like to see me play some of the more free play or some of the more strategic m modes of play, which will come to us once the game uh, is released, then yeah, we might be worth a crack, I think. So if you would like to see more of this, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be the first step, of course. Just click on the old thumbs up button. Even more, though, if you've got any thoughts, just drop a note into the comments box below. Ideas, your thoughts on the game, would it fit in with the channel, if you're looking forward to it or not, do let me know. As I say, just drop a note into the comments. It would be awesome to hear from you. And, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know if I do do another video for Flycore. Well, that's it from me, Ajax Post, here having a look at the demo of Flycore. Until the next time, bye.
Bye-bye for now.